Hello, welcome to Excel Tips by the HR Diary. Today, I'm going to show you step by step how to find percentile with pivot table. By default, you cannot find percentile with pivot table. You can only find minimum, average, and maximum using the pivot table. These are the examples that I will be covering. I will start by showing how to format your data into a table, how to create a pivot table, how to find sum, minimum, maximum, average, and how to count data in your table. Then I will move on to show you how to find percentile with pivot table, how to find the 50th percentile, 25th percentile, 75th percentile, and 90th decile with the pivot table. So now let's dive in and check it out. Here, I have some data with employee salary here. To find percentile in pivot table, you need to first format your data into a table. To format your data into a table, click anywhere into in your data and then go to insert. Click on table. Then here, where is the data for your table? Click this and select your data, including the header. Let's get back to here and then check. Take this that my table has headers and click on the OK. So in this uh, table design menu, Excel has named my table name as table one. You can change this name. For example, instead of calling it table one, instead of calling this table table one, I want to call it table A. Next, you can also change your table formatting by clicking onto here. So instead of this, I can choose this or this. All right, I prefer perhaps this. So I've changed the formatting for my table. Next, let's see how to create a pivot table. So to create a pivot table, go to the insert and click on pivot table. So in the select a table or range site, click onto this, select your, your data excluding the header. All right. Go into go back to here and uh, choose where you want the pivot table to be placed. So you can put into a new sheet or into existing sheet. So I want to put it into existing sheet and I want it to be placed here. So I'll click it here. Next, remember to take this, all right? Add this data to the data model. Click this and click onto the OK. All right, so you will notice that this appears. All right, this is the data, this is the pivot table fuse window. Let's drag it out so you can see more of it. All right, this is the pivot table fuse window. So now if I click onto this, all right. So if I take this, it moves the job level to the rows, all right. So I take this because I want to analyze the, the job levels. Now, how do we find sum using pivot table? So to find the sum of salary, to find the sum of these salaries, 
uh, all right, click onto this. You can click onto the salary and it moves to here. All right. You move the to, to find the salary. All right. So you move this salary to the values view here and you will see. Oops, I have two. It's okay, you can just move it back. All right. And you will see the sum of salary salary for each job grade. So job level one, two. This is the sum of salary for job level one, job level two, job level three, and the total salary. All right. So if I click here, you can see that the sum is 60,500. It's the same as here. So I've got the sum of salary. You can also find out what is the minimum salary for each job level. To do that, click onto this triangle and then click onto value set settings. And you can choose minimum and click okay. And it would and you'll see the minimum displayed on the pivot table. The, so the minimum salary for JL1 is 2000 For JL2, job level two is 4000 And JL3, the minimum is 6005 And it's 6005 All right. So next, I've shown you how to format your table, how to create a pivot table, how to find sum, how to find minimum. Let's find the maximum. All right, so this is the minimum. So to find the maximum, again, you can click onto this triangle, click onto value setting, choose maximum and click OK. And here will show you the maximum salary. So how do you find average salary for each job? Great. To do that, again, you can go to here, click onto this triangle, value setting, and pick onto pick average and click OK, and you will see average displayed here. All right. And you can also let's shift this a little bit. You can also ask you to count by clicking onto this uh, arrow value setting and you have a count here and you click onto the count. So there is three JL1 here, three JL1, four JL2 and four JL3. And total, you have uh, 11 of the JL or the job level. So now, how do you find the 50th percentile? To find the 50th percentile, click onto this triangle, select value field setting, and let's find 50th percentile. So you notice that there is only average. There is no median or 50th percentile in the value field setting. So to find the 50th percentile, you need to do a little trick. So to, to do that, okay, let's close this. So remember, there is no uh, 50 percent down there. So let's click on this. Click OK. So to find the 50 percent down, you need to go up to this uh, table here, right click it, and click on to the Add Measure. So at the measure name, let's call a name, and I should call it P50. Which is uh, which means fiftieth percentile. You, you can type any other name here. All right. So I'll type P fifty because I want the fiftieth percentile. Next for the formula. Type in percentile and this will come out and choose this percentile dot inc. And then um, click onto it. And look for salary. Double click on this salary. We will double click on this salary because this is the data column that you want to find the 50th percentile. This salary. Salary refers to here. All right. So this is where you want to find the 50th percentile. So double click onto it. 
and then type a comma, type 0 0.5 because you want 50th percentile. 0 0.5 means 50th percentile and close, close the bracket. So for the category, source number, um, and let's uh, use a thousand separator and click on to OK. So you will see in this pivot table fields, the FX50 appears. All right. So this is has been has been added. So to add this into the values, all right, we need to take it. Once you take it, you will see it appear there. So let's take it. All right. So you have seen that after I take it. The P50 appears here. Right? Uh, if you notice this format here isn't very good. You can click onto this to remove all these decimal points and then click onto value setting. So for this average, you can change the number format. Click onto it and put it as number. And I don't want any decimal point and click OK and Okay, and if you want a comma there, all right, let's try again, value setting, number format, numbers, and then use a thousand separator. I'm gonna need this format and click okay. All right. So we have found the 50th percentile. Now let's find the 25th percentile. Similarly, to, to find the 25th percentile, all right? Again, um, if you, uh, um, to do that, let's go to here, all right? Right click, click onto the add measure and add the measure name, type D P, 25th and then at the formula type here type percent and this will come out select this and double click onto salary because we want to find the p25 for this double click this and type p25 is 0 0.25 and close back bracket and for the category click on the number use thousand separator and click OK and there you will see in the fields that you have P25 added so click onto it and you appear at the values view and here all right now let's um, add the P uh, 75, again, right click here, click add measure, and let's name it as P75. And at the formula, type in the percentile. And let's choose this and double click onto salary. Type comma, P75 is 0 0.75 and close, close bracket. And at the category, choose number, use a thousand separator and click OK. And I have my P75 there. So just click onto it and you have your P75 added in there. All right. So now we have uh, done P75. Let's, let's find the 90th the south. So instead of adding it one by one, you can Get, you can also change, edit this P75 if you want to, to P95. So to edit it, all you have to do is go here, right click it, and click on left click, edit measure. Then change the name to P90. And the formula, you, you don't just change the name, you're going to change the formula to P90. 
90. Then click on to OK. And you will see in the pivot table fields that this has been changed from P75 to P90. And this also has been changed to P90. The header here has also been changed to P90. So here you can see in my data, I have got for, by job levels, average salary, 50th percentile, 25th percentile, and 90th percentile. So we have found the, I've shown you how to find the percentile using pivot saver. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching Excel Tricks by the HR Diary. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the HR Diary.